what I'm going to show you is my way of exporting DWG. Now I've done this several times for various clients over the years with the Vectorworks and I've learned that if I do a complete Vectorworks export for all layers then I get a problem because the guy who's doing it just sees all the files that I've got stacked upon each other and don't forget we're talking Vectorworks done properly here where I've got the ground first and second um, on this particular job all stacked up on top of each other on layers all classed out as you would expect but when I export them they all just sit on top of each other now the way that I overcome this is that I export by sheet layers in other words by individual sheet layers now this is the uh, proposed first so let's go down to the location to the existing ground floor this is the one that I now want to export so we do file export export DWG I'm doing DWG 2004 to 2006 which covers most people's AutoCAD I'm going to do the active sheet only in other words the one that's ticked leave all the stuff there as I've, I've showed you um, as it is because that seems to work reasonably well now I've already done one let's go back up and do a test one create a new folder so let's call that test WAB which is the client's name create that one now what I'll try and do as I do it it says the file name which is the file that the job number that I've got and the, the job there completely written out now if you try and do that for each floor they're all the same because they're the same job so you have to rename it so what I try and do is to take off the last portion of it just leave the job name now this was existing ground floor and save it all those are done quite nicely in other words they're classed out in other words the way that um, AutoCAD likes or layered out AutoCAD speak and I've done it now let's bring up the file that I've got here that's not the one that I want test WAB and have a look at that there it is nicely done project number and the existing ground floor it actually is it truncates it a little bit because it only allows so many but that's good enough for me let's do the next one let's do the proposed ground floor now, as you can see slightly different export export DWG again the same active sheet only this time I'm going to call it proposed ground floor and save it again accept the um, the class or layer names and that should have done nicely now let's just go down and check it there you go look two separate ones and each of the files has got the, the stuff that the AutoCAD people will require the file itself the CTB file in other words the the way that AutoCAD uses its line its line weights and, um, and a JPEG so that it can do the, um, the little logo that I've got on mine so there you go that's the way that I export out to Vector, from Vectorworks into DWG without getting a problem. Hope it works for you.